welcome to home school this year class 7 mathematics ncrt or cbsc board we are in our exercise 4.2 third main see the heading give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equations how we are going to solve the equation give me the steps and then solve it see the first problem a 3n minus 2 equal to 46 First, what we need to observe before means we have done seeing the variable beside what you have number, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, then it's reverse we have done. Now, observe other than the variable set first. Here, variable is followed with another number and that number is multiplied. So, just observe other than this set what you have minus 2. Minus 2 means what we need to do to have minus 2 we need to add 2. Step 1. Step 1 adding 2 on both sides. On left hand side and also right hand side. 3n minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 46 plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 will be cancelled. 3n is equal to 46 plus 2, 48. Next step, 3n is equal to 48. We have a variable n is followed with a number multiplied. Number multiplied means we need to divide with that number to get the value of the variable. Right here, step 2. What is your step 2? Divide, divide 3 on both sides. 3n by 3 is equal to 48 by 3. 3, 3 cancel and now 3, 1, sa, 3, 6. Sa. What it implies n is equal to 16. To get the value of this variable, we need to solve these two steps. See the second problem. 5m plus 7 is equal to 17. First, observe the number. Number is added. Means, first step we need to subtract. Step 1. Subtract. Subtract 7 on both sides. On left hand side and also right hand side. 5m plus 7 minus 7 is equal to 17 minus 7. Plus 7 minus 7 gets cancelled. 5m is equal to 17 minus 7 will be 10. Right? Now, second step. What is your second step? 5m. m is a variable. 5 is multiplied. We need to divide with that number. Divide 5 on both sides. Divide 5 on both sides. 5m by 5 is equal to 10 by 5. 5, 5 gets cancelled or 5 answer you can write. And now 5 2 is 10. Finally it implies m is equal to 2. What is the value of m? 2. Third problem. 20p by 3 is equal to 40. The number which is beside the variable don't touch. Other than that what you have? A number is divided. Division opposite multiplication. Write your first step. Step 1, multiply, multiply 3 on both sides. 20p by 3 into 3 is equal to 40 into 3. 3 ones, you are left with 20p is equal to 43 is 120. Now, again observe the variable. A number 20 is multiplied for the variable. So, you need to divide 
This is your second step. Step 2. Divide 20 on both sides. 20p by 20 is equal to 120 by 20. 20, 20 gets cancelled. And this 0, this 0 cancel. 2 table where you get 12, 2, 6. Yeah. It implies P is equal to 6. Right? See the fourth sub question. 3P by 10 is equal to 6. Other than 3P, a number is divided. Division opposite, multiplication. So, yeah, step 1. Multiply 10 on both sides. 3P by 10 into 10 is equal to 6 into 10. 10, 10 gets cancelled. 10 ones are 10 also. You can write. You are left with 3P is equal to 6 tens are 60. Now other than variable, a number is multiplied. Yeah, step 2. Divide with that number. Divide 3 on both sides. 3P by 3 is equal to 60 by 3. 3, 3 cancels and here 3, 20 is up. Therefore, P is equal to 20 is your answer. Okay, observe carefully and do two times in your buff book now. Fourth main, solve the following equations. Option A, 10P is equal to 100. Now, what the three mains we have done in our last session and this session, all types of problems we are going to do in this main. Observe here, other than variable, where is the number? Number is multiply. So what we need to do? Divide with that number in order to get the variable value. Divide 10 on both sides. 10p by 10 is equal to 100. 10 divide 10 on both sides. Right? 10, 10 cancel and here 1, 0, 1, 0 will be cancelled. Therefore, P is equal to 10 is your answer. So, here 10 is multiplied. We have divided with that 10 on both sides. 10 P by 10 is equal to 100 by 10. 1, 0, 1, 0 will be cancelled and here 10, 10 cancels. P is equal to 10 is your answer. See the second one. 10 P plus 10 is equal to 100. First, you keep side this one other than variable set. What do you have? Plus 10. Plus 10 there means what we need to do? Subtract 10. Subtract 10 on both sides. First step we have here. Two steps. First step is subtracting 10 on both sides. 10p plus 10 minus 10 is equal to 100 minus 10. Plus 10 minus 10 gets cancelled. 10 P is equal to in 100 if you take away 10 what you are left with? 90. Now second step. Observe here variable P. 10 is multiplied. Multiplied means you need to divide. Divide 10 on both sides. Divide 10 on both sides. 10p by 10 is equal to 90 by 10. 10, 10 cancel. 1, 0, 1, 0 will be cancelled. Therefore, p is equal to 9 is your answer. So, to find the variable value, right? C option p by 4 is equal to 5. A number is divided for the variable. We need to multiply with that number on both sides. Multiply 4 on both sides. P 
by 4 into 4 is equal to 5 into 4. 4 ones are 4. P into 1 will be P. 5 fours are 20. What is your P value? 20 is your answer. D sub question minus P by 3 is equal to 5. A number is divided. Number is divided means we need to multiply with that number. Multiply 3 on both sides. Minus P by 3 into 3 is equal to 5 into 3. Okay. This 3, this 3 cancel. Minus P is equal to 5 3 is 15. See here yeah, variable should not follow with a negative sign. So what we need to do? Multiply. Multiply minus on both sides. Why I need to multiply? If I multiply a negative sign, minus of minus P is equal to minus 15. Minus into minus plus P is equal to minus 15 is your answer. Next sub question 3P by 4 is equal to 6. Here a number is divided. Multiply with that number. Multiply 4 on both sides. 3p by 4 into 4 is equal to 6 into 4. 4, 4 gets cancelled. 3p is equal to 24. Now is your variable value is this? No, again a number is multiplied. We need to divide. Divide with that number. Divide 3 on both sides. 3p by 3 is equal to 24 by 3. 3, 3 gets cancelled. And here, 3, 8 is 24. It implies p is equal to 8 is your answer. Next sub question, 3s it is not 35. 3s is equal to minus 9. For the variable, 3 is multiplied. We need to divide with that number. Divide 3 on both sides. 3s by 3 is equal to minus 9 by 3. 3, 3 cancels. 3, 3 is 9. Therefore, s is equal to minus 3 is your answer. Next sub question. 3s plus 12 equal to 0. Other than the variable, what you have? Plus 12. Plus 12 means subtract. Subtract 12 on both sides. 3s plus 12 minus 12 is equal to 0 minus 12. Plus 12 minus 12 cancel. 3s is equal to minus 12. Now other than variable what you have 3 is multiplied. Means we need to divide with that number. Divide. Divide 3 on both sides. 3s by 3 is equal to minus 12 by 3. 3, 3 cancels and this 3, 4 are 12. Therefore, s is equal to minus 4 is your answer. Next sub question. 3s is equal to 0. Other than variable 3 is multiplied. We need to divide with that 3. Divide 3 on both sides. 3s by 3 equal to 0 by 3. 3, 3 cancel. 0 by 3 will be 0. Therefore, s is equal to 0. Next, I sub question 2q equal to 6. For variable 2 is multiplied. 
Multiplied means we need to divide with that number. Divide to on both sides. 2 q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. 2 2 cancels and here 2 3 is up. Therefore, your q value is 3. Next question 2q minus 6 equal to 0. Minus 6 you can see. Add 6 you need to write. Add 6 on both sides. 2q minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0 plus 6. Minus 6 plus 6 will be cancelled. 2q is equal to 6. And now again other than variable 2 is multiplied. So we just divide with that number. Divide 2 on both sides. Left hand side and also right hand side. 2q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. 2 1s and this here 2 3s. Q is equal to 3 is your answer. K. 2q plus 6 equal to 0. 6 is adding here. We need to subtract. Subtract 6 on both sides. 2q plus 6 minus 6 equal to 0 minus 6. Plus 6 minus 6 cancels. 2q is equal to minus 6. Again 2 is multiplied. So we divide with that 2. Divide 2 on both sides. 2q by 2 is equal to minus 6 by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled and here 2, 3 is up. Therefore, q is equal to minus 3 is your answer. Last question in this exercise. 2q plus 6 equal to 12. 6 is added here. We need to subtract. Subtract 6 on both sides. 2q plus 6 minus 6 is equal to 12 minus 6. Plus 6 minus 6 gets cancelled. 2q is equal to 6. Last 2 is multiplied for the variable. So divide with that 2. Divide 2 on both sides. 2q by 2 is equal to 6 by 2. 2, 2 gets cancelled and here 2, 3 is up. Therefore, finally q is equal to 3. This is the way we solve all types of equations carefully. With this, we are going to end our session. In our next session, we are going to continue with the next exercise. Until that, keep watching. Thank you all.